Hi, this is Pat Dolan, VARVID.com. We're down here on the WPC convention floor, right in front of the, uh, the big Microsoft truck here with Peter Gallagher. Peter, go ahead and introduce yourself. All right, thanks, Pat. My name is Peter Gallagher. I'm on the Microsoft Across America TS2 team. Been with Microsoft for about 10 years. Uh, supported Small Business Server uh, 40, 45, 2000, 2003, and 2003 R2 for about seven or eight years, and then moved over to the TS2 team. So today, and currently in my role, I'm a, a partner solution advisor on the Microsoft Across America TS2 team. Excellent. Yeah, you've been you've been with 2000. I mean, small business servers since uh, since infancy. Well, you know, Microsoft's got the new 2008 coming out. A lot of partners looking at that. Very exciting product. One of the big questions we all have, and this is one of the big issues we're talking about, is migration. How do we get from 2003 to 2008? It's a great question. It's something that if, if you're a partner and you have existing 2003 customers or SBS 2003 customers, you need to know how to get from box A to box B. So. Uh, the, the support or the uh, the product group actually has a very well documented uh, process on how to go from SBS 2003 on box A to SBS 2008 on box B. It's it's well documented. I think the the, the document now is in beta, but it'll be it'll be finalized when the product releases. And if you come to one of my TS2 events uh, and I'm talking about SBS 2008, if you walk out of there with only one thing, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be. What are you going to do with that migration strategy? How are you going to do it? It's not a traditional put the disk in and upgrade because we're changing to 64-bit hardware or 64-bit only. So SBS 2008 64-bit only. Um, there is no upgrade scenario. We're going to, I hate to say it, we're, 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 we're basically making you migrate from server A to server B. Uh, good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because the, the setup uh, and the installation of SBS 2008 at that point is very predictable. So your setup time, your initial setup time of installing SBS 2008 goes from three hours, depending on hardware, down to maybe an hour. And it's very predictable and, and repeatable. So you know when you walk into a customer site, when you're going to start that migration, you're going to have a known good SBS 2008 machine. Now some gotchas is, um, you know, we're going to be leveraging a lot of the native tools in Windows and Exchange. So if your existing network infrastructure, your SBS 2003 machines, um, uh, say DNS isn't correct, or Active Directory's got some problems, or Exchange has got some replication problems, or whatever, uh, those are certainly going to be exposed uh, when you try to migrate from 2003 to 2008. So uh, in the migration white paper, there are, there are some comments in there about let's make sure our existing network is healthy before we try to migrate. Uh, there's the SBS 2003 uh, Best Practice Analyzer, which I believe is part of the migration uh, strategy, so we'll want to run that best practice analyzer on the 2003 box prior to our migration to make sure we take care of any issues so we can be more proactive rather than reactive uh, during the migration process. So, Excellent. Sounds like Microsoft has mapped out the strategy for us. It's going to help us get there. It's fantastic. Peter, thanks for the time today. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Pat. Thanks for having me on. Excellent. Thanks a lot, sir.